Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're going to talk about the coldest temps of the season coming into the United States on Monday of next week. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload about five videos a week to keep you updated. All right, so let's get started. First, we're going to take a look at the overall temperature map of the European model coming up on Monday. But first, I wanted to kind of take you back in time and kind of explain the why before the what. We talked about two weeks ago of the strat warming event that took place in the Arctic Circle that amplified. We talked about a western moving typhoon that amplified the Pacific jet that sent a massive storm that's coming up on Sunday in the Bering Sea. And that's going to swing down and have that blocking pattern in Alaska and release that 45 degree below zero cold air into the United States from Alaska. So now let's take a look at the latest uh, European model. Now I'm kind of using this, using this as a guide, you know, there's about 112 different model runs every single day. It'll, it'll drive you crazy if you look at all of them, but for the past six weeks, I've been kind of using the, G the GFS more because it's been seeing the cold a lot faster than the European. Typically, the European has been better than the GFS, but I'm just kind of showing you this as a visual because, again, the model is only a tool and not the guide. So I always explain the why before the what and why a model is showing what it does. Okay. So here's, if we kind of zoom in, we look at the, this, these cold Arctic temperatures coming in on Monday morning. This is the ninth showing that b below zero temperatures trying to filter in into North Dakota, sending the coldest air of the season into the central Northern part of the United States. Now we flip it to Tuesday. It's really starts to build in. Now we're kind of seeing those double digit negative temperatures filtering in more of into Montana. Uh, North Dakota and parts of Minnesota and starting to get in those single digits and even into South Dakota and Wisconsin. And it really maxes out on Wednesday. That's when I feel like we can get in the, in the coldest core temps of the season when then we're talking, you know, 10, 15, 20 degrees below zero. And a lot of these places won't even get a, won't even get above zero for their high temperature. And I'll kind of show you some of those uh, a little bit later on, but even, you know, single digits, uh, lows, even in the Chicago uh, region. So this is some serious uh, Arctic air, especially for earlier on in for earlier on in December. And if we expand it even more into Thursday, it still has that cold Arctic air uh, hanging on to the, you know, below, below zero temperatures. And it does, it, it does sink south a little bit, but it kind of, it modifies because we have a positive NAO and a positive AO. So we're not going to see those cold, cold core temperatures drop all the way down to the deep south. You're going to get cold, but not the coldest temps of the season for the southern, southern regions. If we expand the view and look even at Sunday, it seems like it kind of pulses back up but then releases another surge into the United States again a week from now on Sunday. So this doesn't, you know, relax. It, it kind of comes back uh, later on. If we zoom into the, the wind chills, now this is, I kind of zoomed into the Wednesday when I think this, this is just going to maxify itself over to the central part of the United States. That's when it can get some, some dangerous, you know, wind chill readings of, you know, 20, 25, 30, sometimes 35 degrees below zero. So you have to really prepare for yourself and plan ahead for you guys in the Dakotas and Minnesota and up in Wisconsin, where you're, where you're just going to be well below zero for those, for those wind shields. And you can see that, that there's a cold core and it, there's a, a demarcation line where you drop from, you know, 30 below and then you're, 16 not not too far not too far away so a 50 degree swing so that cold arctic core is only going to be centered a part of that central part upper part of the united states if we kind of zoom into some temperatures let's look at fargo for example they drop in the single digits by monday and they go below zero 
for two solid days, for two and a half days, you won't even get above freezing and you'll finally get above freezing. And on Thursday, again, it kind of amplifies itself and then comes back with a vengeance again by Sunday. If we take a look at further south into Sioux Falls, uh, South Dakota, you're dropping even, even further south all the way down to zero, probably uh, below zero. Now, again, this is cold Arctic air. And a lot of times this is shallow. We talked about the 1051 millibar Arctic height pressure. So that is some serious cold, dense Arctic, shallow cold air. So this will settle down to the surface in areas that will have a snowpack, which uh, Duluth, Minnesota, when it rained, when it snowed two feet the other day, we still got that snow on the ground and that's going to help keep them below zero for again two two you know two and a half days where you might max out at 20 below zero in in those spots and and even minneapolis uh, minnesota again maxing out on wednesday which is your coldest day night won't even get above freezing so definitely i wanted to prepare you for, for that and if you kind of look at the snow from this little system there is a little clipper system now again it's going to hit a lot of the same areas that have received snow already this year so sorry you guys and uh illinois and indiana and ohio i know you've been kind of missing out on these systems but it does bring several more inches into the dakotas uh, more more snow for duluth and, and into minneapolis and what upper wisconsin and you might get a couple more inches into pennsylvania uh, upstate new york and along the coast or along the eastern seaboard you might get a little clipper system. Now, I wanted to point you guys, I know you're probably zooming in, you guys in Texas. So there is going to be that cold Arctic air funnel in on Tuesday. And there's going to be this little surface low swinging in from the uh, backside underneath. There might be a little changeover. Some of the models, I know the European, the Canadian, the GFS has some sort of mix changeover. But the temperature is going to be 36, 37, 38 degrees. So you know, it, it might be one of those things that's fun to look at. It's going to be melting as it hits the ground. So if this even does happen, as you can see, it's it's not a big event. But when you talk at anything like that in the South, it raises people's eyebrows. <laughs> so if we expand the view, we talk about the, the NOAA changing their tune and, it, and they're still swinging that way into a colder pattern. This is from the 12th and 16th has that we talked about the negative EPO, so that cold Arctic air swings it further south, and this is expands the view to the, you know, it, from the 12th to the 16th, cold Arctic air into the eastern part of the United States, and even the following week, it'll swing it even more. So it's starting to swing towards my December outlook. Now, we talked about the above average temperatures, which is NOAA has on the west coast, and it has that cold Arctic air filtering in, and then you're warmer in Florida. So my December outlook that I put together several days ago at the beginning of December is kind of start matching up what NOAA has, has changed its tune to. So we're, we're trending into a colder pattern as we filter deeper into, deeper into uh, December. So now let's take a look at later on down the line. We talked about that amplified SOI index as it swings up. Now, this kind of matches the latest GFS and the European model and kind of setting the stage of some sort of potentially big storm for the Northeast around the 15th, 16th, 17th time frame. This is kind of just something I've got my eye on. And if you take a look at the latest uh, European ensemble member, it has a 978 uh, millibar coming in to the Northeast around that time frame. So this could be the real deal for you folks in the Northeast. If something, I'm just kind of something later on on the line that I'm kind of looking at and watching the kind of the, the pattern setting up right now, but I'll definitely be keeping my eye on this area as we get deeper into uh, December. So kind of want to give you an update uh, real quick of the what's happening with the coldest temps that's coming in uh, on starting on Monday of next week. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, watching if, and definitely if you found value in this video please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends on uh, social media and definitely stay with me and tune in to the next video where i protect you before and after the storm